Hi, I'm Monisha Kapoor. I'm an aesthetic plastic surgeon and I do a lot of surgical and non-surgical procedures for my patients including acne, laser hair reduction, hyperpigmentation, melasma, skin resurfacing and rejuvenation, anti-aging therapy, stem cells. So today I'll be speaking about laser hair reduction. So giving an introduction of most common things that are asked by the clients and clearing out the misconception. One is, does laser hair reduction causes cancer? No, it does not cause cancer. First of all, I'll explain you how it works so that you understand that this is nothing that's gonna penetrate inside your body or cause any harm to the internal body organs. So let's, for example, take this as your skin and this as the hair. So what you see is the hair shaft. So what is inside is the hair root. So when laser is targeted, it does not enter beyond a certain level. The entry is only one to two millimeters, not more than that. And if it will be interesting for you to know that lasers have a target. Let's say the laser is supposed to target the black pigment on this paper. It will only target the black pigment. It is not going to target the paper. So there, in that way, there are different kind of lasers. Depending upon what is the target for that laser. So for a laser hair reduction, we choose a wavelength and we choose a laser that targets melanin. Melanin is the dark pigment that is found in the skin as well as it's concentrated in the root of the hair shaft. So when we use laser, the laser beam targets this clumped up melanin in the root of the follicle that when it targets increases the temperature of the root of the hair follicle when the temperature increases all the cells there they are killed with the increased temperature so when the follicle and the follicular cells are killed the the hair is permanently gone from the body forever but it is called as laser hair reduction not removal removal means all the hair are gone but if we see our skin surface there's only few percentage of hair that are on the surface there are few follicles inside that are in the sleeping phase so laser is not able to target those hair laser is only able to target the hair that are in the active phase that are growing hair so that is the reason there are couple of sittings that are required for complete laser hair reduction and that is the reason the term has changed from hair removal to hair reduction because it is never hair removal it is always hair reduction to a point that it is look hairless but if you see very closely you'll see very fine baby like hair and that's a normal successful end point people should not fight with the professionals that look you said laser hair uh, removal but i see these couple of hair the point is to give you a clean hair free looking skin it may with, with the microscope if you see fine hair that does not mean the treatment offered to you was not successful the treatment is successful when after a couple of sessions you are left with hairless skin, hairless looking skin. So coming on to laser hair reduction, the myths that whether it leads to cancer, as I just explained that the laser has a specific target. It does not target other stuff. It will only target the structure for which it is made so that is why it is very safe the lasers are not like x-rays or other radiation that is gonna 
damage your DNA or cause any kind of cancerous thing because it is gonna it has a proper wavelength that is gonna target your uh, hair follicle leading to laser hair reduction so at what age you can think of getting it done you can think of getting it done at as young as 16 years of age because there are two schools of thought initially people used to think that because at this age there are a lot of hormonal influences that are going on so it is better to wait for a longer period but it is safe nowadays to uh, take laser hair reduction at a younger age as young as 14 to 16 years too so if your child is asking for it don't ask them to wait longer till they are 20 or go to college because if you see waxing shaving and other kind of stuff that leads to lot of problems like ingrown hair lot of dark spots i see a lot of young girls who used to wax their legs to wear skirts when you wax you apply a force when you apply a force there are certain hair that starts to grow their direction is changed they start to grow inside the skin when they start to grow inside the skin that leads to a small kind of a pimple under the skin leading to folliculitis that is infection of the hair follicle that leads to pimple acne shape scarring on the legs i call it polka dot legs which is quite a difficult thing to treat so making another problem because you are not aware that young girls and young boys can also be treated with laser hair reduction is not a right thing so rather than waxing and rather than shaving you can uh, think of laser laser uh, hair reduction why because it's much safer than that and your child won't be suffering in six sessions there will be practically 80 to 90 percent of hair reduction would be achieved at my center i have one of the best uh, technologies in laser hair reduction i have soprano ice platinum i have the latest forever bear technology by cyton it is one of the most expensive lasers in the world so i also have luminous light here do it these are the world gold standards in lasers so when a doctor invests in the best technology you can go blindly and trust the brand the doctor is endorsing so if you see what are the top brands these are cyton forever bear luminous light sheer duet soprano ice platinum so these are the top brands and you would be very happy to know that i have all these technologies under one roof sometimes what happens when you are undergoing laser hair reduction your hair are resistant to one time of wavelength or the lasers and with repeated sessions you do you are not getting any result so you switch on to different centers so at my center because i have all the different kind of laser by top brands you don't have to go here and there under one roof your problem would be solved if you you are not responding to one wavelength i have other top brand lasers i can switch you over to other lasers and this is how we customize laser hair reduction at our center now coming on to the side effects what can happen what can go wrong after laser hair reduction if you had a beach holiday or you were in the himalayas trekking and you have a tan please make sure that you don't get this procedure done why as i just said that it targets the melanin pigment so when you have a tan your skin is rich in that pigment and when you get a laser done not only your hair follicles but it also heats up your skin that can lead to skin burns and blistering so that is one thing that you should be avoiding after a tan or a beach holiday don't go for a laser hair reduction inform your doctor that please reschedule my appointment because i just came back from beach vacation the other side effect is in people with acne prone skin their acne can be exacerbated 
Why? Because once the laser targets the follicle, the follicle is dead. The body takes care of it. So you can have small inflammatory acne kind of lesion, which actually is a good sign. A lot of people get disturbed over it. You don't have to get disturbed over it. You can put calming cream, certain mild steroids that will take care of the inflammation. Use the anti-acne formulation that will care, take care of the acne. But don't get disturbed about having acne after laser hair reduction. Because if you are having those kind of symptoms, that means the energy that was delivered was sufficient to target your hair follicle. You should be happy about it because it's a reactionary thing that is happening to you after the laser hair reduction, it will go away. Because it is because of laser hair reduction that you developed it, it will go away with the care within couple of months and you don't have to worry about it and use too much of medication to be taking care of it. And what can go wrong with laser hair reduction is if it is done by wrong hands if it is done by untrained people you can get burns why you can get burns on one extreme if the energy is too high if the energy is too low you can have paradoxical hypertrichosis what is this dangerous term it sounds dangerous but not very dangerous let's say i get a laser hair reduction and the energy that was given was too low so i can have and reaction where I start growing more hair because the energy that was delivered was, was low, too low. So make sure when you go for laser hair reduction, it is done under doctor's supervision. She or he at least comes there to supervise what energy should be given or maybe a first shot is supervised by the doctor and the rest can be taken care of the technician who's doing it. And this was all about laser hair reduction, the important points that uh, you needed to know before checking it out, where to get it done, from where to get it done, what are all things I have to keep in mind and what can go wrong. And uh, thank you for watching.